I don't care what anyone says about this. It's fact. It's what we've already known about this stuff. The best way to deal with diseases like Slovic is to live a healthy lifestyle. Okay guys, welcome back. This is Douglas Okwara, personal coach of Blue Fitness. And today we're gonna to be talking about a controversial topic. So in this topic, you've read the title already. I'll try my best to avoid saying words that, you know, YouTube does not want to hear or uh, that will, like if they hear these words, they will sort of, it might sort of affect the algorithm and sort of reduce the chances of my videos uh, being put out there. So I'll try my best to avoid those words. So I'm gonna be calling the disease that we're facing right now, I'm gonna call it Slovic, okay? I'm gonna call that Slovic, and I'm going to call the, you know, pss, pss, <laughs> I'm gonna call that the syringe, okay? And, okay, what other word here that I, might, I might use? I'm gonna call the, you know what you get from the syringe that sort of makes you, you know, fight um, Slovic, or reduce chances of you getting it. I'm gonna call that infinity. <laughs> okay, let's call that infinity. So these are the words that I might I'm gonna use. But before I start get started here, I just want to say um, thank you for clicking on this video because I know majority of people don't want to click on topics like this, especially when it's talking about um, the word healthy, which is something that uh, people. Um, don't like to hear nowadays for some reason. So let's jump to the video now. Now, the idea that um, getting, you know, the syringe is the only way of um, achieving, um, you know, the infinity that everyone wants to achieve so that we get this Slovak out of the way and live our lives normally. I find that really strange that all of a sudden we have abandoned what we already know about the natural infinity and now it's all about you know the syringe infinity and that sort of pisses me off a little bit so i did not want to talk about this topic in this channel and i wanted to just reserve that for my crazy channel but this is about a healthy lifestyle and that's what my channel is all about. I don't care what anyone says about this. It's fact. It's what we've already known about this stuff. The best way to deal with diseases like Slovic is to live a healthy lifestyle. There is no two ways about this stuff. Like we should, I don't know why people are not talking about this. I don't know why people are just so focused on everyone get the syringe, which is 100% not possible, even in countries like North Korea. It could be possible in North Korea, who knows what that guy does there, Kim, Kim Jong-un or whatever his name is. So let's talk about living a healthy lifestyle. First well, of all, I want to applaud the people out there that are putting the work to, you know, live a healthy lifestyle. They are putting in the effort, the money, no matter what circumstance you're in, whether they've lost a leg or an arm or whatever, and they're still pushing and doing whatever they can to be, um, you know, healthy and be fit. I just want to applaud you and I want to say, um, I take my hat off for you. Just pretend I'm wearing a hat, okay? You guys are really doing an amazing work. And for sure, you guys inspired me to, you know, live a healthy lifestyle as well. And... I hope to do that for other people too. So that is what people should be pushing because in the future, no matter how much we try to avoid it, there will be more diseases coming. Based on what I learned in school, okay, those the, the ice uh, iceberg, the ice block or whatever in um, and Antarctica, they're melting, okay? And based on what I learned in school, there's a possibility that um, diseases that may have been trapped in that ice or whatever are breaking open and you know will break open or and will cause diseases that's a possibility 
And there's another possibility where, you know, based on the global warming that we're experiencing right now, it is pushing animals out of their natural habitat and they're sort of coming closer or uh, coming uh, closer to humans. And this will, sort of, this will, you know, this might bring new diseases in. And for majority of us that do not have any infunal compromised system, yeah, I remember what infunal means. So for majority of us that do not have that, it's if we have the arms to work out, the legs to work out, the lungs to breathe in air and out, if we have these capabilities, we should definitely pull in the work, put in the work to get that, you know, healthy, fit body to sort of help you combat, um, you know, uh, diseases that may come in the future. We should start thinking about right. the future, just not, uh, yeah, we should focus on the present as well, but think about the future too. Uh, are you going to keep um, forcing everyone to get, you know, the syringe because um, you're trying to protect those that refuse to you know put in the work to live a healthy lifestyle or to protect you know for the elderly ones i highly suggest and i highly recommend taking the syringe because even if i get old i will do that too because as we get old our infune system our infune system sort of gets weaker so there's not much that we can do about that so think of the syringe as a supplement if you're not able to put in um, you know so much protein into your system from foods you go for the protein powder right so to sort of help you get to that level that you want it to be so that applies to the syringe as well and i'm just talking i'm referring to the elderly ones that you know really need to get it so i highly recommend doing that but otherwise if you have a working infusion system and you do not want to get the syringe i don't see why you should get the syringe because <laughs> we've known um natural infinity for so long and we don't know much about the syringe infinity so that's that's just a huge thing to consider here so far so good some studies have come up that you know the natural one is sort of is probably much better than the not the one we get from the syringe or close to it or whatever it doesn't matter it's different for everybody okay but we've known about our natural infinity for too long since you know it's been helping us survive as a human species that is what I rely on and as a supplement I have added ex exercising eating good food and what else having getting good sleep speaking of good sleep I'm doing this at 12 a.m. so 12 a.m. so don't judge me okay um, but yeah I try my best to get good sleep and to sort of boost my immune system that is what everyone should be doing except if you're not able to because that will help us in the long run survive in this planet. But trust me, we're all going to die. And when we die, you know, generations are going to continue. And they will face more and more diseases. And they might be even stronger than the ones that we have now. So we never know. But if we're able to get through this demic pan, <laughs> if we're able to get through this demic pan, then uh, let us focus on the future, okay? Whatever lifestyle you're living in, if you know it's a terrible one, if you know it's a bad one, you got, you have got to change it, okay? For the better, so that you don't, um, if you're one of those ones that, you know, are living a very terrible lifestyle and you're forcing other people to get the syringe, you should ask yourself questions like, you know, whatever you're doing, is it right? Like, I don't know, it, I'm going to talk more about this in my crazy channel. I don't want to go too far here, but anyways, I just want to talk about this and I don't care what anyone says. You know, if you disagree, please put it in the comments and let's all be respectful. And um, yeah, 
I hope I was able to outsmart YouTube here by using the Demic Pan and Slovic and Infinity and uh, what else did I use? Well, it doesn't matter. But yeah, thanks, thanks a lot guys for watching this stuff. If you learned something from it and if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking as well. And I don't ask, I don't ask too much from you guys, okay? But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. If I don't see you in my next video, not, nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> okay, bye for now. <laughs>